As we talk weather now, it's mid-September. We're still hanging on to a lot of that warmth that we saw during the summer yeah. and dry conditions as well. It's just occurred to me, this is the last week of summer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. 21st is 21st. Saturday. Man. Yeah. Time flies when you're having just fun. Just count right? on us, right? Not on any <laughs> insight. Yeah, equinox, right? The equinox, yeah. yeah. And uh, let me tell you, the summer weather is going to take us into this weekend. Yeah. Uh, that is going to continue. But uh, overall, what we've been seeing is a dry heat. Our humidity has been quite low. Uh, we are going to add rain chances uh, coming up here in the next couple of days. With this system here uh, that's uh, down in the Carolinas, this is going to eventually move up towards us. So this is our big change that we're going to see in the weather here over the next few days. So not... Uh, a uh, huge uh, uh, amount of rain coming into play, but we are going to start seeing maybe an isolated shower late tomorrow afternoon uh, along 68, but the better chances of rain are tomorrow evening along 68, and then tomorrow night that rain will push up into western Pennsylvania, and then I think by daybreak is going to be more spotty or more hit or miss as we continue through the rest of Wednesday and Wednesday night. So not an incredible amount of rain out of this, but uh, once we get into tomorrow night and Wednesday, this is probably our best shot to see some rain here in the next couple days with maybe an isolated shower trying to hang into Thursday as well. But you can see when it comes to rainfall amounts and, and this model is a little more dramatic, but uh, generally you can see out of the deal a half an inch or less is what we're looking at here. And I think more of us are going to see the or less part of that. So just know not a big amount of rain, but any little bit is better than none because we have been dry for nine straight days and this summer has been exceptionally dry with uh, drought uh, conditions in much of the area. Now, when it comes to temperatures tonight, I think it's going to be comfortable with the low humidity and temps in town around 60, but most spots back into the 50s, a comfortable night across the region and temperatures tomorrow will build into the upper 70s. They'll have a hard time raising as much as they have over the past few days because we're going to have that layer of clouds and that moisture streaming in here. So that combination is going to hold those temperatures back a little bit. So overnight 60. It's going to be mostly cloudy and we're going to keep those clouds in play for tomorrow. Late, we could see an isolated shower, but I think the better shot for rain is going to be after midnight uh, once we click over into Wednesday. But you can see clouds on tap for the day. Temperatures topping off in the mid to upper 70s. If you are south of I-70 and especially closer to I-68, this is where you have the better chance to see a late day shower tomorrow. I think everyone's in on the hit or miss showers for Wednesday, Thursday, maybe an isolated shower before we dry it up for the weekend. And you'll notice those temperatures stay warm right through the weekend, even into the start of next week, considering our temperatures are more average in the mid 70s this time of year.